This video is also available as an audio version on your favorite podcast app, and it's also available at worldcoinnow.wordpress.com. Today is going to be a different kind of video as I'm going to be talking about a wish list. Now, what do you mean by wish list? Somebody asks. Well, I'm going to be listing out a wish list of what Roku needs to add in its next OS update. Now, first of all, this is coming from my website, which I just launched today, which you can find in the description below if you prefer reading it instead of watching it and I'm also going to be having this as an audio version so you can listen to it anytime you want on your favorite podcast app so Roku recently announced its new OS 10 update that's still rolling out to Roku devices including its streaming players TVs and audio streaming sidebars it features are mainly related to its Roku voice Upgrading is AirPlay, integration from Apple, along with the Home Kit as well, and updating the Live TV Guide with the Favorite Channels option that should have been added on there since day one, in my opinion. However, even though the new features are necessarily needed, I wouldn't really consider them big features, except for the pop-up voice search results while you're in the channel, which I consider a major feature. Roku had an opportunity to make its 10th version of its OS a big milestone. These are the features I think Roku should have added then, and hopefully they consider adding it in its next major update. So first of all, I think Roku should have simply upgraded its new user interface. I know for a fact that people who have grown tired of the old UI would agree with me on that, while those who love the channel's first user interface would disagree. Now, as you can see in this picture, this is a concept for the new Roku UI that they still went with. And the credit for that goes to Zuneko. I hope I pronounced that correct. Who made this concept and published it on Reddit. Now, Roku CEO Anthony Wood said in 2018 that the Roku channel's home screen would eventually be the new UI for the Roku. Almost four years later, Roku hasn't given any more hints towards a UI change since. But Roku has been ramping up the Roku channel's content offerings by acquiring more shows, buying Kribby shows and movies, and rebranded them to Roku Originals and plans to make their own original content. Now, this would have been the perfect time to release a new UI update from a business perspective because Roku could have used it to really give viewers an opportunity to check out their new original content along with other things that the Roku channel has, including what's in the live TV guide. Now, from a consumer perspective, it would have been good to have that as it would have let you explore your shows easier than ever instead of having to dig in a channel just to find it. So, for example, if you were watching something on Hulu, maybe instead of going into the channel to find the show, maybe Roku can tell you what shows you were watching on Hulu from the home screen and let you watch it from there. Maybe instead of having to scroll and click right or OK to find a section of the home screen, you can scroll up and down for the category section, and when you find a section, you can immediately do what you need to do from the section instead of having to click OK first. Now, things like that, Roku can have in its new UI. Just take the concept from Reddit that you on your screen and imagine it working. Probably you get what I'm saying. The next feature that Roku should have added in its latest OS update is profiles. Now, yes, I know that Apple TV and the Fire TV have it first, but why can't Roku have it as well? Roku could have added this feature, and you can have different profiles. And on one profile, you can have the channels you want, your my feed, the shows you watch on the Roku channel, other services, recommendations, and more things like that separate from other profiles. 
you could also have your favorite Roku UI theme and it can be separate from the others as well. And it can really be a personalized Roku profile if that wouldn't be the case. You can also have guest mode integrated into the profile feature instead of having it hidden in settings. And that feature won't have to affect your Roku with regards to having to sign into every channel once the guest mode is disabled, which currently is the case with the regular current Roku. I mean, if they were to update it and probably have a guest mode, it would have been seamless integration right there if Roku dig into it and worked on it. Next feature Roku should add is kids mode. Now, this probably would have been accessed from the Roku profile section and from there kids will be able to access the content that's appropriate for them by integrating the Roku channel's kids and family content with all of their movies and TV shows they offer for kids. It could also integrate with other channels Roku has by partnering with PBS Kids, Nick Jr., Noggin, and more to put their content integrated into the kids' mode. And then depending on if you pay for HBO Max, Stars, and more, you'll unlock even more content for kids in that particular area. Roku can also enhance parental controls and make sure that the kids' mode can be locked so the young ones can't accidentally leave it or try to leave it on purpose with a PIN code that you can set up on the Roku website. Next feature that's still been added is Roku Reminders. Now, Roku has a feature currently where you can be reminded where a show or a TV special is, but the feature is only usable when the current home screen has ads on the right side of it for the show that can let you use the feature to remind you when it airs. Now, Roku should enhance the feature and not only use it for app from advertising, but also when you want to watch the show live or on demand. Probably the way that would have worked is that Roku can ask the live TV services to add its Roku Reminder feature into it. So when you want to watch a show or a movie live on that particular channel, you can go to a show or movie detail and click if you want to be reminded when the show is about to air. Roku can also integrate it into its UI search feature and you can find it, the show from your voice and add it to reminders. Roku can also integrate it with MyFeed so when you want to keep track of when the new episode gets added to your streaming service, Roku can remind you that the new episode has been added instead of having to scroll to the MyFeed to get the notification of it. And then of course you could manage the reminders from the home screen or at Roku's website. Our next feature is the TV guide. Now, I believe that that's to be enhanced in the latest Roku update. Now, the TV guide that the Roku channel Roku TV has, first of all, should be added as a shortcut and integrated into the home screen of their streaming players and soundbars. The Roku channel partners with Pluto TV and Zumo to offer some channels into the guide. They should expand the partnership to add even more channels from both free services into the guide. And then they can partner with more services like Tubi's Live News, Philo, Hulu, and more and add their channels into the guide. Then those channels should be broken down into categories of genres and favorite channels consumers can add to really make it into a personalized experience. The live TV can also be added to the Roku Kids mode so that kids can have one of their own experiences with the Roku live TV channels and add content from the Roku channel Kids live TV and more from Pluto TV, PBS Kids, Hulu, etc. My last feature that Roku should add into the next major update is expanding voice commands that you can use with the Roku voice and its remote. There should be more commands Roku offers. For example, if you ask Roku what's the weather, it'll tell you that the command is not supported. But if you ever heard of a channel called Weather Nation, it's an app that offers you a look at the weather in your area with a 7-day forecast and weather alerts. 
So why can't Roku partner with Red Nation and take those features from it and make it a usable voice command? Even if it can launch a shortcut to the channel and use it from there, it'll still be a useful feature. Roku can also add other features like a timer. So when you ask it for the clock at the moment, it works. But when you ask it for a timer, like maybe set time for five minutes, it doesn't want to work, which I find kind of weird. If Roku can tell you the time, then it should go all the way out with timers. I'll probably also go all the way out and probably say that it should add alarm clocks as well. But I suggest it should probably be only available on Roku TVs because it has a fast TV start feature and you can use it to listen to music even when the TV is off. So Roku might as well go ahead all the way out and just add it as a feature as well. Probably for, for example, if I have a Roku TV in the bedroom, maybe you can ask it to send an alarm, turn the TV off, and then probably it reminds you, hey, it's this amount of time that you want to be alarmed about, time to get up. So that's probably my suggestion. There's also sound bars out there that can use other voice assistants like Google or Alexa. So if Roku can partner with Apple for the AirPlay and on key integrations, then probably they should partner with Google when they sort their beef with YouTube TV and Amazon to bring their voice assistants to their smart bars and give consumers an option to pick their voice assistant of Roku Voice, Google Assistant, or Alexa. Now, don't get me wrong, Roku Voice is a great feature, but simple features like that can make it even better. Now, in conclusion, Roku has a great platform. The OS is great as well, but the OS 10 update could have been way better. Hopefully, if Roku watches or listens to this, they can consider at least adding some of the new features that I suggest, and maybe it can be way better next time when they want to announce a new OS update. Now, what do you think of my wish list? Or do you think Roku should add other features that you believe is good into its next update? Now, on YouTube, let me know in the comments. On the podcast, I don't think you're able to unless you have like a CastBox app. which has a feature where you can pin in comments. Also, you can comment on the website and let me know what you think there, which is RokuNow.wordpress.com. All right, hopefully you got the most out of your Roku experience through this video or the audio version. Thanks for watching or listening, and hopefully we'll be back next time. Also online, YouTube TV is now gone from Roku after Roku and Google had a major beef over what Roku calls a monopoly that Google's trying to have over YouTube. So if you're a new customer who wants to try YouTube TV, these are the best alternatives for it. Or if you currently have YouTube TV and you still have it on your home screen, do not remove it.